On Monday, February 22nd, Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin, who represents Michigan's 8th District, paid a visit to 20 Front Street in downtown Lake Orion. The popular music venue has been closed to the public for almost a year due to the ongoing pandemic. Representative Slotkin met with the owners of 20 Front Street as well as representatives of the Village and DDA to discuss upcoming grant programs that will provide much needed relief to small venues like this one. Well, the number one reason why we're here is because we want them to take advantage of the money that we just approved at the federal level at the end of December. So this is about, you know, saving our stages is the name of the bill and making sure there's money in the bank so they continue as a venue. You know, they're an anchor business here. That's why you've got folks from the local downtown development agency working here with us. Um, And then, you know, honestly, I think we're seeing the COVID rates drop precipitously. We've got 15% of the state now at least vaccinated with one shot. Um, And so it's my sincere hope and ambition and expectation that this summer we'll be able to sort of come out of our houses and hopefully not have to go back in. Um, And so right now we're talking about money that's a bridge to a time when they can have this place packed full of people again. For her to be here saying, I want to help, make sure that you are first in line, that um, we just we can't thank her enough, and, and the DDA and the Village Council, everyone that just wants to make sure that uh, we're going to you know, have a spot in line uh, for some of these funds that are becoming available. Uh, it's just reassuring, again, that, that it's not just us. We're not in this fight alone. There's a lot of people that uh, this place means a lot to, including us, and they want to make sure that uh, you know, if we do qualify, which looks like we do, that, that they're going to help us make sure that uh, we have the best shot possible. 20 Front Street hosted its last show with an in-person audience on March 12th of 2020. They've done a few streaming shows as fundraisers, but they'll need support from the state and federal government if they're going to survive this lengthy shutdown. The Save Our Stages legislation that we passed at the end of December um, basically is aimed at supporting performance spaces that are cultural institutions, right? Like this venue here, um, 20 Front Street. And so, all you do is, you know, they're, they're going to put out the rules, hopefully here in the next week or two. And we know that if they um, succeed in getting the grant, it can be up to 45% of their revenue from 2019. So they have to show their books from 2019 um, and they can earn up to 45% of it, which, again, isn't perfect, but it's better than nothing. It'll help keep the doors open in a place like this. But thankfully for us, pretty early on, um, within the first few months, we did a couple online fundraisers where we put together some artists that typically play here, put some videos together, and we uh, presented online as one big fundraiser. And and the community support just blew us away. Uh, The people that came out of the woodwork to help us support us financially, um, and just the stories and emails about, you know, how much they love this place and what it meant to them, and and how they were going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that we were going to survive this thing. uh, and you saw that again today with the, with the support um, from our, our, our local government officials. Uh, we just really felt that love and realized, you know what, there's a lot of people that this place means a lot to, and uh, they're going to fight to try and help us to make sure that it's here on the other side of this thing. If all goes well, 20 Front Street is hoping to reopen to the public in a limited capacity by late summer or early fall with hopes to open at full capacity before the end of the year. In downtown Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.